Among the cloud adoption drivers, the consumption-based model is key. Why would you pay for resources you are not using? Well, you shouldn't. In this video, I will show you how you can schedule the start and the stop of your Amazon Relational Database Service, in short, RDS, instances. Implementing this simple no-code solution will generate significant savings simply by turning off database instance out of the working time. I'm Yann Alandi, Database Solution Architect at AWS. This is the architecture of the environment I'm demonstrating. On the right hand side are the RDS instances and on the left hand side is AWS Systems Manager which triggers the start and stop events. The setup implies three steps. First, we need to create a role allowing the system manager automation to interact with RDS instances. Second, we create a tag-based resource group that opt in the instances impacted by the start and the stop operations. Third, we create two maintenance windows in system managers scheduling the start and stop actions against the RDS instances. Let's now switch to the console and demonstrate the implementation in detail. The first step is a role creation for the AWS System Manager automation. In the AWS console, go to IAM, create a role with two policies. The first one is Amazon SSM automation role and AWS managed policy. The second one is an inline policy allowing access to the RDS instances of your account. In the second step, we need first to tag the RDS instances we want to include in the resource group. F for that, just select the instances in the RDS console, click Tags, Manage tags and provide your account wide key value. In our example, this is action start stop. Repeat the tagging for all instances to be started and stopped. Once done, you can create your resource in the AWS Resource Groups console. The group is tag-based, targeting DB instance type. From the list, select the key value tag you associated with your instances. Clicking on Preview, the console will list the instances matching the tag. We cancel the creation here because the group was already created as we can see next. The last step is to create a maintenance window in AWS Systems Manager. Each event, the start and the stop, needs to be an individual maintenance window. Once the name is set, uncheck Unregistered Targets. You schedule the event by providing a cron expression. 
In our example, the event will be triggered every day from Monday to Friday at 4.40 p.m. To make it easier to read, you can select the time zone of your location. Then we will associate the resource group previously created to the maintenance window. Finally, we will associate a task action to the maintenance window. A document handling the stop of the RDS instances is provided. It's important to note that the instance ID value must be resource ID between accolades. Provide the RN of the role created in step 1. It's now time to observe the impact of the schedule stop. We can see that the three tagged instances initiate a stop in parallel. Switching to System Manager, we can monitor the event activity by clicking on the History tab of the Maintenance window. The latest event shows that the actions are in progress. As said earlier, you would have to create a separate maintenance window for starting the RDS instances. To complete the demonstration, we can see that the stopped instances will initiate a start at the scheduled time without any user intervention. In short, this simple solution helps you achieving significant cost reduction by scheduling the uptime of your RDS instances only during the activity period. Thank you for watching.